Tiger Supercat here. This is the two litre Pinto on the five speed Sierra gearbox, the IRS back end. It's an XL as well, so it's two inches wide at the back. So you've sort of got a bit more room in the cab there for the sort of wider boys like me and my brothers. We can fit in that no problem at all. Uh, registered in 2002. Uh, but you'll see that it comes back as a 1988 because that was what the Sierra donor car year was, which is all sort of registered and is, is all legit, that sort of thing, seeing it, so it was built in 2002. So it says first date of registration, 2002, year of build, 1988. Being informed by the, the vendor this was a factory build car, not a kit in a shed. <coughs> uh, like I said, it's, it's on the 205 Pinto with the Type 9 gearbox IRS back end. Uh, on twin Webers as well, so it makes a great noise. Bodywork wise, we're going to start off at the bonnet, work our way around, and then we'll up the bonnet and get it started up and stuff like that. The fiberglass is all nice and tight, there's no cracking around the windscreen there with those lovely decals all nice and straight. Nice and tidy down the bonnet. Wants a little bit of a polish if you're picking on it. Very, very presentable and usable. This one, as you come down the nose cone, no major stone chips. A marks on the nose cone, a little mark underneath the decal there, but very, very subtle and not very noticeable with it being black. All nice and straight, all the lights are good. Nice and tidy around there. Very, quite a pretty looking thing this, and these tigers are quite sought after. So you've got the lovely bulges in the bonnet here. Really good lines to this one. You can see all the suspension there, all lovely and clean and tidy. Not done many miles at all since it was built, this one. See how tidy it is in the back of there. All the alley is lovely and straight down both sides. No signs of alley rash at all on there. Exhaust is lovely and clean. The wheels haven't done 500 miles. You'll see those lovely mini-style wheels with the bicycle front arches. Nice and tidy. few little marks on these there. A few little cracks there where they're bolted in. But overall, very, very presentable, ready to be enjoyed and used. Left hand side again, you can see there's a few little marks where around the bolts there. We'll have a look, we'll have a look at the suspension in the backs of the wheels, how clean that is and how tidy. So we come down the right hand side where the exhaust is. Let's see all the alley's lovely and straight. Exhaust lovely and tidy with those big flared rear arches. And again, brand new wheels and tyres all round with the Yokohama tyres on. A few little stone chips at the back end here, nice and straight as you come up, and some light surface scratches where it's been washed over the years, but no big crazings or cracks to the fiberglass at all. Around the arch again, lovely and tidy and straight. As we come around the back end, all the lights are nice and clear and clean on the back end there. You've got your fog light and your reverse light, comes with the private registration. Lovely and tidy up there with the matching decals down the back. No big crazing or cracks at all on the back end there. As you come round the left hand arch again, a few like scratches in the paintwork, there's a few stone chips down the bottom, and a little bit of a mark here on the left hand side. Have another look at that lovely wheeling tyre. Again, down the left hand side, you can see how nice and shiny and clean the aluminium is down the bottom there. Not being abused at all. Lovely and straight. James has got the engine bay open, so we'll have a look while we're in here before we start it up. Like I say, it's on the twin Webers. Gonna do the interior. All lovely and straight in there. No problems with that. Very, very tidy. We'll do the interior. Like I say, it's an XL. So me and main, main James call it a white boy fit. Very comfortable to jump in and out of that. For us cuddly boys. For us cuddly boys, he says. Plenty of leg room in there as well. The pedals, lovely little steering wheel. All the dials are lovely and clear. You'll see 2,933 miles since build. So well, it's showing on the clock there. Nice and tidy down the centre console. Probably wants a new gear stick gate. That's a little bit nicked there. Carpet's in the back. It's lovely and straight. Seats with the sail belt harnesses. Nowhere at all really to those. Looks lovely with the black and yellow piping. On the passenger side, same again. Seat belts are nice and tidy. The seats themselves are all lovely, clean and straight. The black carpet sets nice and tidy on the alley footwells there. Like I say, all the dials are lovely and clear. I'm going to get James to start it up here. You turn the key, you give it a couple of pumps and it fires straight up. Makes a great noise, this one. No one wanted noise 
there from that pickle engine. It makes a great noise. <coughs> Lovely and tidy in there. All the cages seem to be working as well. You've got your oil pressure gauge there, which is straight up. You can see your bomb is doing the fuel gauge all working. See if it's got three quarters of a tank of fuel. That's got three quarters of a tank of fuel. Ticking over nice and happy there. And there you have it, the Tiger Supercat XL in black with the 2 litre Pinto on the 5 speed Type 9 gearbox and the IRS rear end. Ready for some summer fun, that one. Pretty looking thing. James and 40 doesn't come with a car. Well, for the right price, I'm sure we can negotiate that. Probably devalues the car a little bit, that. Any more information will be on the website on any of our lots in the next up and coming sale here at WB and Sons. Thank you very much.